And that's a memo. Now for the top story at night, another moron, but this one may have violated the law. Far-left radio commentator Mike Malloy, who was once heard on the despicable Air America Network, recently said this about White House spokesperson Scott McClellan and Dana Perino. I used to have violence fantasies about uh, Scott McClellan because of the impenetrable wall of idiocy and supposed ignorance, some of which was probably not supposed, that behind which he used to hide at every press conference. Uh, all those feelings are being uh, shifted now to Dana Perino. We're going to haul all these pigs out in front of the American people, and they're going to be forced to testify. If you testify and tell the truth, tell the truth, um, nothing will happen to you except you can take your shame and humiliation and go about your business. The question was that monologue a threat? Joining us now from Hartford, Connecticut, Asha Rangappa, a former FBI agent who specialized in counterintelligence. Okay, now, in, 19, in 2005, Randy Rhodes, another uh, nut on the Air America network, was investigated by the FBI for an on-the-air stuff she did involving a gunshot warning to President Bush. What is the standard where the FBI Secret Service would get involved in investigating someone like uh, Ms. Rhodes or this uh, Metter guy? Well, when a threat is made against a public official, particularly against the president, it's going to be taken seriously by law enforcement. Uh, in the case of the president, it'll usually be handled by the Secret Service, and their goal will be to determine whether it's a credible threat and also to neutralize any imminent danger that the president All right, or the now you just heard this in. Malloy person say what he said, that he had violence fantasies, um, called them pigs and that. Would that be enough, in your opinion, based upon your experience, for somebody to go in and check this guy out? Sure. The, uh, the Secret Service would do some investigating to determine uh, whether this is a credible threat. Uh, they would look at potentially his criminal background, his propensity for violence, the context in which the comment was made, the specificity, and his ability All right, to carry so, out so the this, threat. So this, what he said, this Malloy, could get him investigated by the authorities. Now, sure. what's the difference? between saying something about White House personnel, congressional personnel, Congress, House of Representatives, and just regular folks. Is there a difference in the law? Yes, there is. Uh, public officials have additional protection. They are exposed to a greater number of people. Uh, our history shows that they are more vulnerable to certain types of threats, and therefore threats against them are taken more seriously. Is there a law, a specific law, that you can be prosecuted if you say certain things. Look, people say, I want to kill Bill O'Reilly all the time, all right? And there's nothing I can do about that unless they show up and they act in a menacing way. But if I say, I want to kill President Bush or I have violent fantasies about his White House spokespeople, can they be prosecuted just for saying that? Well, you will be examined more closely or investigated based on what you say. But whether you'll be prosecuted for it is going to be determined by your intent behind what you say. All right. So you'd have to have some kind of actionable um, cause that, that you would bring in. Now, when Secret Service FBI are around a president, vice president, or and members of Congress, and they see an individual, uh, with an offensive uh, sign, maybe a, an obscene sign, something like they can remove by law that individual from the proximity of the public servant, correct? If it is construed or determined to be a threat to the person that they are protecting, yes. All right, so if this Mike Malloy f showed up at a uh, Bush speech or something like that, you could grab the guy and take him out just about what he said in the past. Maybe and maybe not. Again, it would. I don't know the details of what they might have found out about him. Uh, if based well, just on say the they don't alone, find anything about him. And but you, he's on the record as saying that he's had violent fantasies about two White House personnel. Maybe one of the personnel is in the proximity of the president. He shows up. Can you yank him out of there? You can if you determine that he may be willing to act on that threat if it's determined based on an investigation of other factors. All right. That's a little murky, but I guess that's all we can do. I'd yank him out of there myself. I wouldn't take the chance, not with what all the violence we've had against our presidents in the past. Ms. Rangappa, thanks for your time. We You're appreciate welcome. it very much. Next on The Rundown, guess who's behind giving birth control